Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to Ease. Uh, I didn't save there. Okay. So, in the last video we started off in the mine and got pretty much all the key items that are within the abandoned mine. And now... Well, okay. Not now. After that, we... Gave Rhea back her silver harmonica and this piece of paper, which ended up being a poem foreshadowing a certain event. And then, of course, we met up with one of the two Rota trees, and now we're told to find the other Rota tree. So I'm heading there right now before heading back into the mine to finish up business. Up, uh, up, uh, it here he is. Darkness again stirs in the world. It brings another nightmare to East. O oh, swordsman, thy journey begins now. The silver light beckons both hope and destruction. Lose not thy way, lose not thy will. Leave thy heart open to the possibilities. This was not originally in the PC-88 version of that track. I like how they actually added in tracks to sound exactly like the original PC-88 version just for these remakes. So here we get the silver sword. You need this sword. There is no way you are finishing this game up without it. Alright, so... Now we've got all we need. We got all the silver equipment that exists in the game, so... Let us journey back to the mines to finish up business. And finishing up the mines is not gonna be so easy. I should know. You saw how many times I died in the previous video? Well, now we need to die even more times. Because we still never even scraped the bottom floor of the mine. So, let me save before going in. There we go. And kill all that I need to kill to get that level up. Now, I do have the heal ring, so that makes things a little better for me. So, let's take this right path here to get back to the other floors. Where the stronger enemies lie in wait. And, oh my gosh, I can't hit this guy, finally. By now, the enemies in this upper floor should be pretty easy. I like how it was when we started this. Because we are m much better prepared now. Look, he only did 15 hit points. I am going to heal up before going down. There we go. And I'm going to save too. Now, let me show you how to get to the next floor. First of all, you don't die to him. Um, you go this way. Go left. Here it is, the bottom floor, and it's home to the strongest enemies in the dungeon, and we're going to have to spend a lot of time murdering to get that last level up, because it is absolutely necessary to survive the boss. You want to go to this upper path first, no, no, the other upper path. You saw a chest there, so go around this way and take the top path that you will eventually see. It's up there, and this is the strongest enemy in the dungeon. Save before you fight him, per usual. So yeah, he's the only one that can actually hurt us. There we go. Heal up. I'm gonna heal up and then I guess I'm gonna open up that chest, but unfortunately there are no more bright areas, so we actually have to wait a little bit before we're at full health. It'll, this fighting will be worth it though. Look, we're getting experience points very quickly down here. But unfortunately, health can't go in. Well, actually, I suppose this is fast compared to quite a few other versions of the game. 
The only version where it might be faster is the Turbo Graphics CD version, which is definitely a very good version. The best of the original versions of the game. Well, that is out. It had the cutscenes, it had the awesome music, it felt balanced, and here's the darn key. You need this to unlock the boss door. And it's actually the last boss door that will be locked. Well, okay, sc scratch that. There is the final boss, and... Wow! He came out of nowhere, and he made my mic fall! How dare you! Oh! Jeez! I didn't think this through, did I? I didn't. Did I save, at least... A while ago? I just don't want to have to spend forever healing up again. Well, I guess I'll have to. How you doing? Um... Isn't that firebird burning your butt there? That, that looks kind of uncomfortable, um... Okay, um... I guess that's your way of having fun. I hope you're enjoying your time, um... I gotta open up this treasure chest, so... Have fun! Darm key, I'm gonna save this time. Cause I don't wanna have to go through this again. Don't stall this time. Just go for it. There we go. Now let's focus on gain to the end. There are no other chests that we need to be looking for. But there are enemies that we need to be killing. So I might stray off the wrong path now and then. I'm and here's a heal potion. Might as well use this now. It beats having a wait to heal up. We'll save. And then we will go back to finding whatever we see. Might have to move back and forth a little bit to find enough enemies to kill. Because we are still a bit of a ways from that level up. And it doesn't look like there's that much left. Oh, hi! No, 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 no. I just saved, thankfully. Oh, this could be a problem. This could be a serious problem. And I just killed him, too. Okay, hopefully- <gasps> Nothing! Stupid lemony! I think I'm screwed. I think I got- Drink a heal potion. I didn't want to, but I guess I have to. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Goodness. Well, now I don't even have a heal- oh! <gasps> What the heck?! Give me a break! I need to get my health! Am I safe here? Ah! <laughs> oh! No, I'm not! Okay. I think I'll be all right here. I suppose you guys think this is funny. <gasps> oh my goodness. All I'm trying to- No! I hate you! I'm just trying to- you know what, let's just save right now because I am making progress with experience points at the very least. Okay, I think I'll be alright here. Oh man, this is not going how I expected it to. Do I still have that heal potion? I do, I should probably equip it. Is 
If anything else goes wrong, I can still use that. It's there for a reason. Yeah, that, that sprite at the bottom right really looks ready to kill. Wow. Come on! Alright, cool. Let's save now. After that ridiculous ordeal. But I guess it's a decent spot to grind. Um, I'm gonna load that. Cause that went really bad. I guess there's nothing here anymore. Oh well, moving on. Oh shoot, we're at the end. Oh geez, that's not good. The boss door is right here. Well, I guess I have to grind. Because unlike other difficulty settings, I'm not even close to leveling up. There we go. At least th these guys do give a lot of health. I mean experience, not health. No, they don't give me any health. Here we go again. I'm out of heal potions this time, so now I don't have a choice but to heal up this way. Thing is, this next boss, it's hard, and you can you can't even deal that much damage to it at level 10 with a silver sword, so it's pretty much a requirement that you're at max level before fighting this guy. I just figured I would already be there, because usually I am. Oh, now it's just like the NES version, when I had to do so much leveling up just to get to that max level. At least healing's faster. And the enemies aren't as ridiculously strong. Alright, I'm gonna save. There we go. Save every time something really good happens. Alright, kill more enemies. Don't get killed by more. I said kill more. You don't get it, do you, game? There we go. Uh, okay, we're starting to get there now. I'm sorry I have to do this grinding. I wasn't expecting things to turn out this way. Heal up. Okay, he, he can reach me here. Thank goodness, I can spend some time refilling my health. I'm under 4,000 experience points away. I, I really wonder why the game is set up so that you have to be a max level before fighting the third boss of the game. I mean, that's kind of early, don't you think? Oh well. I don't make the rules. Well... As you can probably tell, the boss is incredibly hard. Most people seem to think the boss is so hard that it ruins the entire game. I've never thought that. Then again, I've never fought this guy on nightmare mode, so I, I guess what do I know? Ah! Alright. Let's fight some more guys! How did, it, how did things work out that way? That was weird. Uh, now I have to heal. Oh well, look, we're getting close. But still, I'm getting sick of having to constantly heal. This is starting to get really annoying. <laughs> wow! Alright, that's fine. I'll just save so that if I die, I at least have all these experience points. I always like the experience points to be set to next level because I like to know how much more I need just to level up. Find more efficient than just seeing how much I have. And <laughs> oh, I hate you. Do I want to move further? I want to move further away. I'd rather fight the Prey Mantis guys. I forgot what they're called. 
<gasps> How'd you follow me? Oh, dang it, that's scary. You know what? Move here, move here. I think I'm safe now. Oh, man. These guys are really persistent. Oh, well, we're almost there. And then maybe I can beat the boss on my first try? Because the boss takes a long time. It's much longer than any other boss in the game, because you can almost never get time to hit him. Alright, I'm going to fight some of the enemies over here before going down there again. Come here, come here. Uh, where are they? There they are. Okay, there. Enemy down. Hmm. Okay, uh, two more enemies, I guess. Did I go far enough for this guy to spawn? Yeah, I did. You know what? I'm gonna uh, chance it. Well, that didn't go too well. Alright. Let's do a better job this time. Aha. There we go, level up. We are at max level now, so we're gonna heal up and then attempt the boss fight. Thankfully, nothing can reach us over here. Now, once again, it doesn't matter which ring you have equipped during a boss fight because all ring effects are nullified during boss fights. So power ring won't make you strong, and shield ring won't give you better defense, hammer ring will not slow the boss down, and the heal ring will not let you heal by standing still. None of it counts during boss fights. Which is kind of upsetting, because I would like to kill this guy quicker. But either way, it's time to fight at most people's least favorite boss in the game. Vagulian. He's a giant bat that splits into a whole bunch of other bats. Start along the corners when he splits, and then try and run away from the bats, and then wait till you see a red circle appear about him. If a red circle appears, it means he's about to form. You get very little time to hit him, and the hitbox can be kind of wonky. Is it just me or do the bats move a lot faster on hard mode, on nightmare mode? Up. Oh. Come on, okay, got him. But that's as much damage as you can deal no matter what. You can't deal any more damage than that to him. I tend to like starting at one of the top corners. Oh, I m missed. This is the longest fight in the entire game. It's the only one that, no matter what, is gonna take you much longer than one minute. This guy can take up to three minutes. Really, this fight is more of patience than anything else. You just can't rush this one. If you do, you almost certainly never win. Thing is, it can sometimes be a little hard to get that hit in. Alright, good. I, I like starting here whenever I can. I find it's the most efficient spot to start. Sometimes one of the bats likes to go a little further than the others, it seems. Oh! Okay, good, good. That's very good. Uh, I just gotta stay quiet, because this boss does require a good deal of concentration. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, though. There we go. Oh, jeez. 
Good. Very good. Okay. Oh, well, that was annoying. Ah, darn it. Oh! It happened. Gotta be very careful now. One more hit and I'm probably good as dead. I've been on my first try! I honestly think most people just have patience problems. This guy, I don't think is as impossibly unfair as everyone makes it out to be. It's still a really hard boss, but if you're patient, there's really not much of a reason to, um, have any trouble. Well, okay, definitely trouble, but... He's not unfair. He's anything but unfair. He's just long and a little stressful, but really, as long as you're not rushing and you're just focusing on not getting hit, you'll be fine. So, in the next video, um, we're actually going to have to go to the final dungeon of the game. Yes, unbelievable. The final dungeon, and we only have three books. So... Have fun waiting for that. Until the next video when we enter the last dungeon. This has been Tailspin109 and have a nice day.